Okay, so the first exercise uh, consists in the these uh, uh, titles for a kind of uh, opening or just the titles of the uh, TV show. Okay, and um, you can uh, follow my steps if you want and customize this using different colors, uh, different settings for the light different typographies or just a different title. Okay, so go to After Effects, uh, create a new composition. We are going to work with the standard, um, the HDTV for 25 frames per second, square pixels. In duration, we are going to set up about six seconds. Oh, these are the minutes, so obviously 30 seconds, so it would be 6 seconds. Remember that in background we can choose whatever we want, but I tend usually to select a mid-range color, something like a gray or something. For me, usually it's fine. Okay, so now we have this, uh, depending on your uh, the power of your computer, you might want to uh, set a lower resolution. Okay, usually that is fine. So all the materials we are going to use are going to be uh, layers uh, that we created ourselves. So we are going to start with a solid, new solid. Here again, the color doesn't really, uh, it's not really that important. I'm going to select something like a white, but a little dirty, okay? Something like this. Then later you can replace the different uh, layers with other colors or with other objects using the same parameters. This is going to be the background, so I'm going to rename that as background. Now I'm going to create another layer, another solid again, and I'm going to uh, create the um, floor. I can do it as well here. Floor. Okay. Having the floor and having the background of uh, the scenario I want to create in 3D because we are going to have here the background, here the the floor, and then we are going to have here the uh, different typographies and go to switches and then here you will see that this is the 3d layer you could choose to not habilitate everything on 3d layer but then you know that if you create a light this uh, layer that is in 2d won't reflect the light won't be affected by the 3d parameter so i'm going to work with everything on 3d and then i'm going to set this scenario where the background is at the background and the floor is horizontally uh, rotated, is, is working as a proper floor. In order to do so, I have to select the four views. So once you are in the four view, um, well, obviously you need to select the floor. Okay, so um, just rotate the dimension Y, okay. X. You don't have to do it 90 degrees, but I think it probably is the simple, most simple thing. Okay, you would see here that you have an active camera, but that's not the, the camera we want to use. In fact, we are going to create our own camera. Layer new camera. That camera will have some uh, parameters, as we have commented in the lesson, that are intended to emulate the uh, reality, the, the real cameras. Don't worry so much about this uh, now, just create the camera and we can set the parameters later. So this is the camera we are going to use and in order to use it, it has to be on the top of the composition. It has to be always over the floor and over the, the background, any other layer that is 3D. Now if we go to the top 
I mean, even if we select only this view and we select a uh, top, for example, you see this is the camera and this will be X, Y, Z of the camera. Okay. And we can uh, just get closer or farther. Okay. To uh, to select the the position of the camera in relation to the two objects. Okay, we can work this way or with the four views. Okay, uh, just uh, select. This will be the camera exactly what the camera is seeing, which is another way of doing that. While having this uh, camera one selected, you can press the the key. C and you will see that the icon of the camera change. Okay, again, again, again. Okay, so this one allows you to do a, a pan that is only vertical. This one would be rotating the camera, and this one allocates okay the space. So if you see now I'm getting closer, and now I have what I wanted to, which is just set the space. Okay. So this way we have floor and background. This is intended to be similar to the exercise that I proposed. So in order to do that, maybe it's a good idea to change the colors. If you want to change the color, just select the, the tool. Okay. The, just select the layer, solid settings, okay, and in solid settings you can uh, change here the color to be similar, for example, to the one of the, uh, okay, the one of the presentation, okay, and the same here, layer, solid settings, and you can select here, it would be a kind of chocolate or something like that. So you go here, layer, solid settings, and then uh, here, this is the floor, so it should be kind of a chocolate uh, brown thing, okay? And then here, layer, solid settings, and you will have, uh, you can perfectly have something like more like like yellow or something like that yeah okay so now in order to do something similar to the presentation you need to create the letters okay so something simple like down okay and then i'm going to create it that as different layers so i'm going to select again tool and it's of the zombies uh, obviously at this point you shouldn't worry so much about exactly typographies or uh, you know um, the colors or anything like that because uh, you are going to be able to change that anytime okay as well as the as the size of the of the fonts and the, the title itself. The only thing you cannot change at this point, once you have set it up properly, is the position in the 3D space. That is the only thing you should carry about. So for doing that, we need to habilitate the 3D here and here. And once it is 3D, you see, yeah, you, you cannot see that because uh, probably it has been uh, set up in a default. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Okay, so you uh, might need to allocate uh, the 3D in the, the 3D object in the right space, and you see down. One thing you would observe is that the anchor point is is in this part of the text. You can always set up the anchor point in the middle. Remember, we can do that 
just uh, changing the angle point here in the properties in the properties so you see transform anchor point okay so you can if you want you can but that depends if you want to do any kind of um, rotation or something like that so it, it is possible that you, you don't really uh, want to or you don't need to so now you will see that you cannot see that because probably it is hidden by the uh, the background so well the only way to know these things is obviously going to the uh, to the top and trying to see okay where one it is and obviously it is just behind the other so you can move that okay so uh, again uh, camera one and you will see now you see that okay so that way these uh, letters can emerge okay so but in order to create the same effect we need to change the color and maybe we'll start with that and then maybe we can customize this okay the same with the typographies so that would emerge this way and then um okay we have the same issue with the with the zombies uh, it is already 3d so what we have to do is just okay allocate it a little more close to the camera okay in this particular case if it's going to be there then it is very large so what we have to do is to compensate that by uh, creating uh, well just changing this this the size of the font okay still i think i'm going to go something like that if you if you um, just move this around you would see how far it is pouring down so you might want to make it closer and then now probably that works a little better and then that might imply to change again okay the size that's up to you you can customize this the way you want We are going to change now the color to be more kind of uh, similar to the to the exercise. So if you think about this, what we are really constructing is it's just the the keyframe. No, what is the final uh, final composition, the final image we want to create? And once this is constructed, we can animate that to, to look, uh, you know, uh, much better to create the effect we want. So remember that I'm not going to do that, but you can always uh, customize here the properties related to the font, related to the uh, effect, the stroke, and the the paragraph, all these kind of things. So so it is quite customizable it is quite customizable so now the most important element obviously is going to be to add lights to this uh, composition so you go to layer new light and uh, you remember we have uh, different kinds of light uh, the one we are going to create is, is a point okay uh, let's see how that works we are going to create something also uh, slightly warm in terms of temperature it's going to be uh, something warm okay let's start with this okay and with a fall a small uh, smooth fall off cast shadows let's see okay 
So uh, here, if you go to position of the light, you can uh, allocate that. And the effect is the one we want, but can't work yet with the right uh, intensity. We need to customize this one. So just go to light options and let's go with something much more. Okay. It's more exaggerated. Something like that. Much better. Something that goes down and creates. Uh, okay. And now I'm going to allocate it farther. Something like that. So that way, when the sun goes up, is is really really a uh, sun. Okay, as you see, I'm allocating that behind the uh, the dawn. Okay, oh sorry, be behind the of the zombies, but not behind the the dawn. It's between the the dawn and the zombies. Okay, we can still put it. Just uh, here, I think it is. Yeah, exactly. I know that because that becomes white, uh, black. So if it becomes black, it's because the light is just just behind. Okay. So that way, the sun goes and creates the down. Okay, of the zombies, and it goes here. This is the uh, the sun. If uh, for whatever reason you think the sun is, is not large enough, uh, you, uh, you wouldn't need to change uh, the parameters that you see here about radius. That has nothing to do. The radius is related to the fall off. Okay, it's related to that. Um, that way the light is fading out from the center. So the, the only way that you can do it as far as this is a point of light and not a, ho a hotspot, which would be a different set it, different settings, it's just changing the intensity. So if you change the intensity here to maybe 306, something like that, that looks a little more like a sun for me. Okay. So you go here and that would be the animation. Okay. But in order to do this, uh, as the, the exercise proposed, we would like maybe to be able to read of the zombies. The problem with of the zombies is that right now it's very dark. You might want to create another light that affects only this and you know that way you can read it because it would be yellow. So again, we are going to create another light, new light. Okay. And this other is set it up only for here for the zombies. And we might want to change the intensity of this one. So this way now the only uh, problem, the only challenge would be to animate the different lights. Uh, this is only an idea. You can always animate as well the, the fonts or um, different other elements that you want to add or cameras. Okay. The idea in any case is that uh, perhaps you can combine uh, this uh, sunlight, which is um, a point of light with another one that I would create here that is the um, the kind it would be a spot so that way you can put the, the the spot to be animated or to start much later you know and compensate this way and illuminate of the zombies okay you can also uh, uh, the re redirect the light being from the lateral Okay, so that way you can uh, backlight just the of the zombies. Okay, 
you can animate both things at the same time there are multiple possibilities in relation to to this it is clear at this point that uh, understanding colors is uh, mandatory uh, in order to create a, a better title also it is quite logical that using the proper typography might make a total difference in this case i don't know i would go for something more uh, kind of uh, oops not this one obviously where it is yeah, well it depends on the effect you want to create no you can do something like this but it would be very uh, halloween to find the right typography right color and now play a little with this see what can you animate how you can make the settings of the lights to work better for you